Hi Wildcats, I'm Smith Patton. And I'm Riley Warner. And you're watching WCAT's Weekly News. This past weekend was a big one for Westminster sports. One was the girls volleyball team that played a hard fought match against Pace on Saturday and ended their season as the AAA state runner up. Let's get our reporters Sarah Lape and Elena Karras for a look at the team's outstanding season. Recently, the Catbacker Room in Turner has been transformed into an athletic study hall for athletes who are waiting in Turner for their sports to begin. We interviewed Coach K and Emily Hansen to find out more about the study hall. What is the Athlete Study Hall? It's an opportunity for our in-season and out-of-season student athletes to come down to Turner and have a quiet place to study or tutor after school from 3 to 4.45 in the Catbacker Room. Why did you create this space for athletes? It was a great opportunity to give kids a quiet place more than anything else as the student center gets really loud and noisy down here and work before practice starts knowing that a lot of times practices don't start until later. What'd you do when you went to the athlete study hall? So we stayed for an hour before practice and we got to uh, start our homework and study a little bit. Did you find it useful to go? Yeah, it was useful because I didn't have as much work to do when I got home. Don't forget to stop by the Catbacker Room in Turner if you're waiting for a sport to begin. I'm Sarah, now back to you in the studio. Thanks. It was a great season for the girls. Yesterday we had our first talent show of the school year. Singers, dancers, guitarists, and other wildly talented Wildcats got to show off their skills during the assembly time. It was really fun to see what a variety of talent we have among the students and to have them all share it with the school. The talent show assembly is something that students and teachers look forward to every year. Speaking of things to look forward to, there is a great deal going on with a number of our athletic teams both currently and in the upcoming weeks. Here's sports anchor Jack Hunter with more on sports. Thanks girls. Over the weekend, the Cats brought home some hardware with two state championship victories as both boys and girls cross country teams were victorious in their state championship efforts on Saturday. Although the Battle of Buckhead on Friday night did not go as planned, both boys and girls cross country teams got revenge on Saturday defeating second place Lovett both times to bring home two state titles. The girls were led by Naima Turbis who won the race by over a minute. On the boys' side, Will Wallace, Zach Rowe, and Peter Huff, all finishing consecutively at 5th, 6th, and 7th, was good enough to propel the guys' team to first place. Both teams continued their dominance in AAA, as this is the second year in a row where both teams won their state championships. Tonight, the GHSA football playoffs begin around the state, and the Westminster Wildcats will travel to Jefferson High School to face off against the Dragons. Although injury riddled, the Dragons from Jefferson finished their regular season 8-2 with one loss being in the first game of the season and the other one being to Monroe Area who are one of two remaining undefeated teams in AAA. The game starts at 7.30 and will be live on WCAT with pregame coverage starting at 7 p.m. I'm Jack Hunter with WCAT Sports. Now back to you, Riley and Smith. Thanks, Jack. Don't forget to come out to the first round of the football playoffs at Jefferson Memorial Stadium tonight at 7.30 p.m. to support the team. Be sure to sign up for the fan bus. Sign up ends at 12 today and you're not going to want to miss the game. Westminster's 12th annual alternative gift fair is right around the corner. If you volunteer for any cause and are interested in selling creative items, this is the perfect opportunity for you. Items are sold by local, global, and student-led nonprofit organizations. If you are interested in being a booth host, fill out the form in the student announcements. If you would like to volunteer to help set up, clean up, or assist organization representatives, contact Jessica Dent or Megan James. The fair will be held on Friday, December 7th in Malone Dining Hall from 5 to 7 p.m., so mark your calendars now. With many exciting things going on around campus, we also have a lot of events off campus. Westminster's FCA Fall Retreat is coming up this weekend. If you have any questions or would like to receive Christian Life email updates, email Reverend Charney. Well, that's all for this week. For WCAT, I'm Smith Patton. And I'm Riley Warner. We'll see you next week for our pre-Thanksgiving show on WCAT's Weekly News.